All right, I wanted to show you a really easy tool that I used just the other day to spiff up, give a fresh look to my Facebook business page and my YouTube channel. And I don't know about you guys, but YouTube channel art is, it befuggles my mind like none other. And the spacing and it just is a bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a mess. But I was in Canva. This is my go-to tool. I love this for everything. And I typed in YouTube and now there is the YouTube channel art, the YouTube icon, and the YouTube thumbnail. Now, the beautiful part, if you happen to notice, YouTube thumbnail is also the same size as the Kajabi images for categories and posts and really so many other spots inside Kajabi you can use that 1280 by 720 pixel size for. And what I did is I clicked on YouTube channel art right here and I said create a design. Oh, sorry, I typed it in over here. You could do it either way. I'll show you the way that I did it. So I did YouTube channel art here, which made a new design. And then I just browsed the templates. I happened to have picked this one right here. I changed the background color. I changed this image and I obviously changed this image, but I just looked for what did I want the channel art to be on YouTube? And while I was doing it, I just happened to go look through some of the subscriptions that I have on YouTube. I liked Travis. I liked this gradient fade out that he had. I liked that his name was bold. There was a picture. I also liked Carrie Green's. I thought hers looked really sharp. Again, her picture, graphics, very clean. And let me see, who else did I take a look at? Oh, Sunny Leonard Doozy. She had, I thought, similar to Travis, the gradient with the image. But I know as we are leveraging YouTube and putting our stuff over on YouTube, that the channel art is important, but it shouldn't be something that we as non-graphic designers are spending hours on. This took me total about 20 minutes and all I did, I used the same um, YouTube channel art for this image. And what I did is I just input it the first time as is and I saw what it looked like on Facebook. So let me show you what I did because again, I am not a fancy graphic person. I am sure there are fancier, better ways to do this. I just do the quick and dirty way um, to get it done. So this top one is the channel art. Don't move anything because Facebook, or sorry, Canva has it set so that it will display this big image is what Oh, sorry. Let me get back to mine. This is what it ends up looking like, right? Just like that. Okay. So don't move anything. Don't adjust it. And then when I was in Canva, I input it. You'll be able to see that. Let me shrink this just a bit. Well, let's try 25%. Okay. There you can see that. So the top one is YouTube. And when I put it on Facebook, it just looked a little too small. And so all I did is you can put your, let me zoom up on this, make it bigger. Whoa, too big. See, I'm not a, I'm not a graphic person. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna copy this just so I can show you without messing up what I did. So I copied the YouTube page, and then you can just take your cursor drag it like this so that you group everything. And then look, you can shrink it. You can expand it. That's all I did. So I did, I just made it bigger. I put it back on to Facebook. It looked good. So I said, good, we are done and done. So I wanted to show that to you because I know a lot of you are updating your graphics, you are trying to keep it consistent against all of our platforms. I am trying to do the same thing. And that was a very quick 
way to do it using Canva since they have everything in there. And as you can tell, all I did was change this to my background color. I didn't even change the fonts. I pulled in a picture and then this just happens to be like a basic, you know, stock image um, shot that I put in there. And I was literally completely done with both YouTube and Facebook in under 30 minutes and it was probably closer to 20. So that's why I wanted to show you so that if you are running into this issue, you can make it look incredibly good in a few minutes without needing any kind of advanced knowledge in graphics. Have a great day. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. I am not an expert in any of this, but I do know how to get it done quickly and easily. And the beautiful part is that YouTube, um, oh, what's it called? What do they call it? YouTube thumbnail. That is the same dimension as Kajabi posts and products. So if you click on YouTube thumbnail and you've been wondering like, oh, how do I design the image for something inside Kajabi? Take a look in here. There's some really easy ones and you can just pop it in. It will work on your blog post images. It works on posts and categories. You can use it in just about every other area, even when there's different dimensions recommended because most of the time it squeezes or expands. Um, I'm sure those are the wrong words to be using. Uh, just fine. So hopefully that will keep your life really, really easy. Have fun. Get it done. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.